What's up guys, welcome to Jimmy Comics. My name is Riley and I've got a in stock trades haul for you today. Got some uh, few absolute editions and a couple trades. So let's take a look. Alright, so we'll take a quick look at the trades first. We got Immortal Hulk, volume four. And this is gonna collect sixteen through twenty. So if you've been following the comics cast, I've been uh, talking about the first three volumes on some of those. It's been very good so far. So I'm excited to see where volume four goes. It's been crazy. Um, a lot of nods to the past, Hulk's history. So that's been cool. I'm not really a Hulk guy, but... Um, this story's been very good. Alright, next up we've got Amazing Spider-Man Volume 4, Hunted. This is the Nick Spencer series. Um, overall, I think it's been a very fun run on Spider-Man. It's not for everybody, I guess, but it's definitely not the worst I've seen. Craven stuff. But if you've been keeping up with this series, it's uh, they keep showing shots of Craven and alluding to this this book right here. So the buildup's finally about to pay off. And this collects Amazing Spider-Man 16 through 23, um, 16 point HU and 18 point HU through 20 H you and uh, those are just hunted tie-ins I guess I don't know it's really weird to call them that but. so we'll see if that's any good I'm uh, looking forward to it it's got some good art it's got Humberto Ramos he's um, he's drawn Spider-Man before and Ryan Otley the artist for uh, you probably know him from Invincible all right, so let's take a look at the Absolute Editions. First one I got is the Justice League World's Greatest Superheroes. I put them in these big protected boxes. It's really cool. This haul is actually um, my first Absolute Editions. I ordered four of them. So, excited to finally own a few of these. I didn't really think I would get into them. They didn't seem practical as far as price goes, but uh, it's not too bad on the stock trades. Here's the front of the case, slip case. It's the other side. Well, I don't know which is the front, which is it. Here's the book. So, there's the hardcover underneath the dust jacket, Batman on the spine. It's a pretty cool wraparound cover art there. So, this book is just a collection of, um, I think it's six short stories by Paul Dini and uh, Alex Ross but if you've never read an Alex Ross book they I know he's done this Kingdom Come um, I'm probably gonna 
by the way. Uh, Marvels. Did that one too. He's probably done a few others, but that's all I can think of right now. Uh, Justice. He did ju Justice with uh, Jim Kruger. But these stories I've heard are very good. They're just one shots with like uh, Superman, Batman, Shazam, Wonder Woman, and then I think there's two Justice League stories. So you get those stories and then uh, a few extras, I think. Oh, here's a fold out. Let's take a look at this. Try to slide it across to show you all of it, but it's like four pages. tricky to show and next I got the absolute watchman and um, I own the deluxe hardcover but decided to get the absolute edition because I liked it so much this is uh, probably long overdue to, to own this is the new edition so it's got the new logo on it but looks pretty much the same got the clock there on both sides and there's the actual book okay. there's the book itself dust jacket and underneath looks the same as a slipcase This book really benefits from the absolute format because, you know, they uh, they do the nine panel format, so having it on bigger pages is definitely a good thing. And the paper quality feels like it's a little bit thicker or higher quality. It's uh, it's not really a glossy paper, but um, it is quite thick. Look at some of the extras. Some uh, scripts and layouts. And little excerpt by Dave Gibbons there. side okay next up we've got absolute killing joke let's open this up and take a look Here's the hardcover. All right. So just take a little contents.
introduction by Tim Sale. And here we get into the story. It also has a green ribbon here, that's pretty cool. Um, so that's the whole story. And then, afterward by Brian Bolland, the artist. And some extras here. I think this is, I guess, the original colors. So they redid the colors for the later editions. I think this is the whole story in original format, and the paper on this is not glossy. So this is exactly as it came out on the newsstands and comic shops. That's really cool. I've never read it this way. So I'll probably read it that way this time. Uh, some scripts. There's all, most of this book is extra material because the story is so short. So we get the comic twice. I'm guessing this is the entire script. And here's some pencil sketches. another story this is by Mark Wade and Brian Bolland it's that right there and this is written and illustrated by Brian Bolland I thought I remembered this being at the end of the killing joke I'm not really sure the, uh, the previous deluxe editions I think have this story it looks familiar and then we get the pencils from that story personally I think this is one of the best Batman stories and uh it's definitely worth it to own this way. Retail for this was $50. So going in stock trades, I think I paid 37. Might have been less than that. It was around 30. Wonder Woman 96. These are some variant covers that Brian Ballin has done. Different things. And some more sketches and things. This is for the animated movie. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I definitely recommend this book. This is worth the money. Last up we have Batman Arkham Asylum, the 30th anniversary absolute edition. And um, decided to go for this one because one, the price was pretty good. No, I paid 28 for Killing Joke. This one was 37. Um, the price was pretty good for this, and I don't own this in an oversized format. So, if 
for me this was the easiest purchase I made on this order because I enjoy the story so much and the art was it's hard to explain the art it's not like the best you've ever seen but it's also like an eerie It's very eerie for comic art. It's not something you see every day. So here's the actual hardcover book inside. The spine's kind of weird. And there's the back. Okay. This one also comes with a ribbon. It's black. Um, if you look back not too far on the channel, you'll see that we've reviewed this story before. So, um, I'm not going to actually give a whole review of this book, but just to show you guys what's in the book. Um, if you haven't read the story, I definitely recommend it. Um, and honestly, this is not too much for a book this nice. This is a $37 book. I've paid much more for books. And uh, I don't feel like this is asking too much at all. Like I said, I think DC is getting more reasonable with their prices on the Absolute Editions. So that's why I bought. Um, my original plan was just to buy this and Killing Joke, but I needed to upgrade my Watchmen copy and uh, that Alex Ross art in an absolute edition you can't pass up. This is some scripts. Um, like the Killing Joke, most of this book is going to be extras. Uh, you get some sketches here. They're really rough sketches though. You'd have to read the story to even see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. A lot of those. And here's uh, some more gallery. Dave McKean, he, uh, he adds real objects into the art also. It's kind of strange. Like you'll see buttons and paper clips and stuff like that in the art. Um, also while he's painting. This is some really rough sketches. It looks like they did it on a napkin or something. It's really rough. Um, but the final result, I think, is really, really unique and pretty cool. So these are like some, some other editions, hardcovers. This, this is scary. <laughs> I always thought that clay mask or whatever that is is really crazy. Yeah, there's some previous editions. Um, this is the one that came with the uh, one of the Batman games. I don't remember which one came with that. And uh, Tanner didn't want it, so he gave it to me. that book again highly recommend this one that's all I got today guys hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one